This land, surrounded and surmounted by waters, this underappreciated and overexploited provincial backwater deep in the belly of North America, this quilt work landscape of woodlots and cornfields, of cut over forests and vestigial prairies, of industrial parks and subdivisions and bunched up cities on the shore, this geographically amorphous swath across the upper Midwest and lower Canada, reaching not quite to New England and the Maritimes in the east, and not quite to the heartland in the west, though heartland virtues persist here, even as the farms and factories where they were cultivated wither. Where the trees, trout, beaver, iron, copper, oil, topsoil, water view property and labor pool have always been ripe for plundering but are damn near depleted now. Where sacrifices that fueled the rise of empires while draining most of the profits away have rarely been acknowledged and never recompensed. Where five astonishing seas of fresh water that once were as secure as money in the bank remain our epicenter, our capital, our strength and our delight, but are no longer very secure. This land that is as sprawling and messy, gorgeous and ugly, dynamic, diverse, complex, perplexing, heartening and heartbreaking as the two nations that encircle it, this is my home. It's not an easy place to know, nor is any place. One lifetime isn't enough to learn a county, a town, even a backyard. Walk a trail a dozen times and you remain a stranger to it. A hundred times and you might earn a nodding acquaintance. Walk it in rain, in snow, alone and in company, under a full moon and a new moon, in the fog, in a blizzard, with your eyes shut and your feet seeking the way by touch, and maybe you'll become familiar enough to call it by name. But do you know it? When children memorize a song or a poem, they say they have learned it by heart. I'm trying to learn this land, my home, by heart, but I don't know if my heart is big enough, and I don't know if I'm writing a love song or a lament. Both probably, both and more, for a complex subject requires a complex song.